what actually happens if street food disappears because it's not just the food itself um, that we are going to miss but many many other things you know? and uh, we're doing everything okay hey guys this is michael from bank of vanguards and next to me is my dear friend jorge jorge is a social anthropologist who worked extensively with the united nations and he has initiated a project called beyond food and beyond food looks at the impact of the eviction of street vendors from bangkok sidewalks and i'm happy to be here with you today to learn more about what happens if street food disappears the beyond food project uh, looks at um, basically four dimensions around street food, the food itself, the vendors, the consumers, and the space. If you put together all these dimensions, you're talking about probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, because our research shows that if street food were to disappear, the average person would need to spend around 350 baht more per month to get the same amount of meals. Now, in principle, 350 baht, at first look, it doesn't look like it's a lot. But we need to consider that the minimum wage in Bangkok is 315 baht per day. The issue of space is the main justification for the campaign for the eviction of street vendors in Bangkok. However, the research shows that pedestrians don't consider street vendors as the main obstacle. For them, the main obstacle is actually badly designed sidewalks. The main goal of Beyond Food is to make the average person aware of how much of an impact it would have if street food were to be from Bangkok, not only in terms of how the, it would affect the vendors, but how it would affect the functioning of the city. If street food is close to your heart and this topic matters to you, make sure that you follow Jorge and Beyond Food on Facebook. Uh, we from Bank of Vanguards will also update you on further developments. And in the meantime, I say thank you, Jorge, for taking your time to join us here. And uh, we hope to see you guys in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell them to keep it down? No. It's fine, it's actually fine. Right? Okay. For the love of Christ, sit down. They're having a party there. They're having a party now.